is Mulaka Kaka? Let's find out. <laughs> Glitchers, welcome to Media Glitch. I'm your tiny host, Megan, and joining me on the couch is Joel. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still trying to keep in the laugh from <laughs> Mulaka Kaka. I made her say that. I'm sorry. It was, just, no, it was so like, funny. Was like, you, you, you made me lose it. I was just, I can't do it now. <sighs> okay. Anyway, man. But welcome to Media Glitch, where we review the good, the bad, and the glitchy. And today we are looking at the PS4 version of Mulaka. Now this is, I really enjoyed this game. It's been a while. It's out for the Switch too. Yeah, it's, right? a, it's, out for, it's out for the Switch March 1st, and it's also out on Steam and Xbox One. Okay, so, Xbox, I mean, anyone heard of that? Just kidding, let's go. <laughs> but I, I was really, like when, I, when you first sent me the game, I was kind of like, yeah, because the, the graphics almost put me off a little bit from just the, the... That's crazy, like, as soon as I booted it up, I was like, these graphics are amazing. Like, from the start <laughs> screen, I was like, eh, this is, this feels like an indie game. But then, like, when I started playing it, I, it just really drew me in. And I ended up really enjoying it. I was even playing it after I got all my assets. So I was like, oh my gosh, I really like the story of this game, the, the culture behind everything in this game, I really enjoyed it. And I even got some of my other family members to pick up the game to play it as well, just to kind of see what they thought of it. And first, let's take a look at Traveling the Land with the Child of the Stars. So Mulaka is an absolutely beautiful game. Everything is inspired by the Indian tribe in Northern, uh, Northern Mexico called the Tarahumara. Tarahumara. And I mean, down to the graphics, the lore, um, the story, it's all built into the culture of this tribe and it transitions into a game beautifully. The colors are bright and vibrant. The geometric patterns even mimic their artwork. The monsters are really unique and you can actually look at the lore and the mythos behind each one. The level bosses are very different. This one was one of my favorites and down to like being able to transform um, at, into the different creatures as you are unlocking and having a bond with demigods as you traver traverse the land to save the world from an kind of almost an unknown evil as you go from one demigod they kind of give you more of a backstory but you play as Mulaka who is Mulaka. who is a um, warrior shaman so he is kind of just he just became um, this shaman status and he's going out into the world and he's found that um, everything's a little bit off. Like there's something wrong. The, the spirit world is kind of um, iffy and he's trying to figure it out. And he goes to these different demigods who in like seeing his bravery, they, um, they kind of go to his side as they take out the Lord of Darkness. You know, pretty, like the story sounds pretty generic, but all the, the the culture that goes into behind it was really, really interesting. It's all based off of this Indian uh, culture in, in, in Mexico. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but I lived several years with uh, the Otami Indians and the uh, Nahuatl in Mexico. And so I know a lot about this. This particular tribe, sorry, I'm getting texts. This particular tribe comes out of uh, Chihuahua. Or how they say it in Mexico, Chihuahua. They always pronounce it Osho and like the Las Palabras que usan. Always with the CH. Anyway, so uh, it, for me, like you, there's even um, like mini documentaries that you can, if you want further to okay. further the storyline, you can go and watch those online. And so like they're, they're taken from, they're Every. taken, they got this all, lore that's already in place in okay. real life, which is kind of cool. Yeah, definitely. So I don't know. Are you gonna talk about gameplay? Yeah, I'm gonna stuff? I'm gonna talk about. That's okay. my next asset. But the the music was absolutely beautiful. They it was like it kind of gave an upbeat to it. It and it was all pulled everything from this culture. And I am a really big person when when you play a game. You're kind of small. Well, yeah. When we stand up. When we stand up, I'm a very. Oh, tiny but you're person. a big person. What? 
I'm a big person when it comes to um, having a game that brings in real world culture. It's not just, oh, we made up all this stuff, because then um, it gets me interested in going back and seeing where it all came from. And that was something I really enjoyed with this game. Um, well, like with the, with the music, um, I like, but what I liked even more were the sounds. Like if you're in a town, it sounds like you're in it a town. It sounds like you're in a town in Mexico, and I honestly believe they just they just recorded yeah. the sound in Mexico. When, when you're going <clears throat> towards like a like when you see a child like running by and they're playing one of the games from that that tribe, mm -hmm. it you can hear it. You can hear them hitting the sticks. You can hear them hitting the rings. It's really cool. It's the attention to detail is just almost overwhelming in this game, and I think that's what puts this game like above a lot of the other games that I've played this year. Um, just because they put so much into it. And I, I really, like, hats off to the developers for putting that much research right. into it. So Well done. Yes, definitely. Keep Dan it Etchel. up. Hey. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> but let's take a look at the combat. Combat really warmed up to me. So it is a puzzle com combat heavy game. So you're going to be running around and you'll see um, these like circles of stone and it'll spawn in some um, monsters that you fight. Each stage slash level has monsters from the past and then they incorporate new monsters. So you kind of have to keep up to it. Um, what I thought was really cool was sometimes you have to put on your spirit vision to see the monsters to even hit them, which was really cool. Um, like, using some of the skills that you would normally like here for example i couldn't see that uh that particular monster like you, taking passive skills that you would normally just use outside of combat and bring them in, bringing them into combat um the the only thing the only problem that i had with this game and it's even a, a really small um problem is there it looks like that there's a targeting system you'll see like the little crosshairs kind of come up it has a pretty buggy um, auto lock, so you can't lock on to any of the monsters at all. You have to, like, when you're running around, you'll see the reticle come up, and then you'll jump and the monster will be behind you. So it made it pretty difficult, especially a lot of those um, smaller monsters like the uh, the scorpions and then the mantises that, that flew around. It made it really difficult to fight them and you do have a, to, you can throw your spear, but by the time that you pull back and you maneuver it around, they've already moved. So I, the only thing that I really wish this game had was some sort of manual targeting system. So that way it made it easier to take out um, all of these monsters that are coming at you. Cause you don't normally get one or two, you normally get 10 or 12. Yeah. at you and um you die you'll die a few times before you even get through that so that's my only problem with this game other than that this is a s really solid game the the gameplay is there the story is there the bosses are epic i mean they're huge and you feel like you're really changing how the environment works um all the transformations are really awesome and it's a pretty decently long game each level takes about 45 minutes to an hour to and complete. there's a bit of backtracking that you're gonna have to yeah. do because once you get like those transformations you can go it'll allow you to get to different levels so. yeah you can like once you get the the woodpecker or bird transformation you can go back to previous levels and you can like explore more areas and so forth and so it on. It takes about eight to 10 hours to complete. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna take longer to 100% it for oh, sure. Oh, definitely. And it's definitely a game that I would 100%. I'm probably gonna go home and play it tonight because I really- You know what I like about the gameplay the most? Unlimited stamina. And yes. <clears throat> so you can just run. Run forever. Low, and you know why it's that way? Because this tribe in Mexico is known for running and their stamina and all this and that. So they, even that, even, how your guy controls is based off of these. I mean, I mean everything. It's just, Attention it's, to detail. I mean, everything. But I did. Taco Madre, he said. <laughs> your game. Good job, guys. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this game. You definitely need to add it to your collection. And for $20. I think I have the Switch version, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs>
I know so many games, I can't remember what's And cool. um, what I thought was really cool, the developers, soon after we got the game, they reached out to us and they said, hey, we did find some glitches. We oh, are on right, top yeah. of it. They, they even sent us a schedule of when the glitches are going to be fixed, and they're not even big glitches. Yeah, they're, so they're every pretty, bug, they're on it. They're, they, they are they're on it. it like, I mean, it's the fact that they care so much about this game shows that this game is going is not only just amazing to begin with, it's going to be amazing once it's completely bug free. And I mean, there's like I didn't even five. notice any. I didn't even so. either. I mean, I guess it, you have to be standing in one specific spot. Right. And you gotta do something crazy just to get it. But definitely pick up this game. It's out for the PlayStation 4, Steam, Nintendo Switch. Um, it feels right on the Switch too. Cause and it's it feels like beautiful. It, great it, on the, pl pl as a platformer. Like, I mean, not as a platformer, but as a game to just. Take and go. Yep. It's, yeah. So. Get it on the Nintendo Switch if you have a Nintendo Switch, but it's also out for this like plat this this game system called an Xbox. So um, you can Dustin, get Dustin. Yeah, look at he represents <laughs> Xbox. So. so definitely pick it up for twenty bucks. You can't go wrong with this game. And developers, thank you so much for sending us this game. It was absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to play more. If it more. wasn't, I would tell you. Yeah, if it, if it was just garbage, we would tell you. And this game, get it in your collection. It is gorgeous. Twenty bucks. Well spent. Totally worth it. So, what do you guys think of this game? Have you got this game? What other games that you played in the past that have like a real world cultural like in like input? I think it would be really cool to there see There was what one that we reviewed on here with the fox and the boy. What was that? It was about this Alaskan tribe. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's really there's, there's so many great games out there. I forget there. what it's called. G but give us a list I'll put down a below. Link. I'll put a link right here on that, yeah, on that right. review. So. But All right. definitely check out um, the rest of our reviews. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for this video, and then hit that bell so you become part of our notification squad. And if you haven't yet, Traverse over to twitch.tv slash media glitch where you can see us stream all the games that we review, Correct. at least some of them. Until next time, guys, keep on playing video games. Never Bye. Alone. Never alone. Never That's alone. That's the name of the game. That's the game. Check that one out, too. That was a pretty good one. So, see ya. Bye.